Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I will explain the not logical operator of the PHP programming language. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so let's discuss this not logical operator of the PHP programming language. Basically, this is the most simplest logical operators of the PHP programming language. And I think it's the same with all other programming language. So basically, the purpose of the not is just to reverse the result of a logical expression. So if it is not true, it means it's false. So if it is not false then that means it is true so to help you understand that further we have an example here and so for instance I have here dollar a equal equal dollar D so the result of this dollar a equal equal dollar D dollar a is 10 and dollar D is 10 so a which is 10 equal equal D which is also 10 so 10 equal equal D the result of this is true but because we have a not here okay we have a not here and so therefore it will become false so the result of this condition now as a whole this condition here as a whole is false so let's see I already run it actually so let us see it here and so I just refresh it and so the result is false so it printed this one or it displayed this string here false part here this one here so it went here because the result of this is false so it will execute the not operator at the last so first it will execute your condition dollar d equal equal dollar a or dollar a equal equal d so the result of that is true based on our values here but because you have not here so not true is false and so therefore it will execute that so as simple as that that's how the not operator is working so let's try to change it let's say i'm going to say not equal dollar d so dollar a not equal dollar d so basically 10 not equal 10 the result of that is false but because you have a not here and so the answer now not false is true so it will become true and so therefore this condition here this expression here logical expression here the result of this as a whole is true and so therefore it should execute this statement here and so when we run it therefore it is like that so true part was printed as simple as that you can also play around with other logical operators for instance let's use end operator so for instance let's have dollar b greater equal dollar c dollar b is 20 and dollar c is 5 so 20 greater equal 5 the answer here is true and so therefore since we are using and and so true and true is true okay so again one more time here the result of this is 10 not equal 10 the result of this is false but because you have not there we have a not here and so therefore not false is true so it became true all of this became true so true and true is true and so therefore it will execute this one here so nothing happened so so again let's try to make this one as like this a net or a equal equal d so 10 equal equal d that's true but because you have not there so not true is false and so false and true it will become now false because we are using n all 
conditions should be true so that the result is true. So false and true, the result of this is false. I have a video about this. And operator, or operator, and Zor operator. Just visit the channel and you will see those videos. And I suggest you have to watch those videos if you don't have an idea yet about end operator, the OR operator, the ZOR operator, so that you will have a better understanding of this topic here. And so let's go back to our topic here. And so if I will run now, there you go. So it became false. So it executed line 20 because the result of this is false and so therefore it will go to the else part here so you can play around with other logical operators now if you would like to evaluate this one as a whole this one first okay so this one first you have to evaluate this and reverse the result of the evaluation here so just place the not outside of the expression here so your Condition should be something like this. There should be open and close parenthesis here. That means inner parenthesis. Open and close parenthesis. That means this will be executed first. After executing this, it will execute as a whole, this one here. And so therefore, if it is like that, still the same. 10 equal equal 10. So that's true. So it will become true now. And then this one, 20 greater than 5, that's B and C. B is 20, C is 5. Is it greater than C? The answer is true. And so true and true is true. Right? And so therefore, because you have a not here, what will happen is that not true is false. And so therefore, it will execute these statements here. So as a whole, this expression here is false. So let's try to refresh it again and see nothing happened. And so this is executed. So let's try to make this one as false. So for example, here like this. Okay, so this one is still is true. And this one is 20 less than equal C. This is false. So true and false is false. But because you have not here, so not false is true. And so therefore, it should execute this one now. So let us see. Refresh. There you go. You have now the true part here was printed. So you can play around with other logical operator using the not operator. So you can have all operators all in one expression. So you can play around with multiple operators in one expression so just remember only the concept of each or the principle of each logical operator you can watch all those related logical operators here in our channel so that you will have a better understanding of the other logical operators the and the or and the zor but for now here in our video here the not operator this is just how it works as simple as that so i hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one